So here's the other thing. Not only is it rote memorization, but think about your teachers, especially in elementary school. Do you think that your teachers in elementary school really, really, I don't, I, I, I want to be delicate. Do you think they get it? No. I mean, they're the ones who are teaching the rote memorization, right? Say it again. Yeah, so that nun was smart. So that nun was smart. <laughs> she was she was one smart nun. Okay. Okay. So she got it. I and I and, and I think that, that that a lot of teachers do get it, but 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 most of them don't. I mean, I've taught I've taught. Okay, I'm going to share a secret, which is going to be you know like for the world. But I've taught I've taught math for elementary teachers, right? And I have taught. Math for I taught it exactly one time, and I got to tell you that that was the most hostile, most math phobic group I have ever known in my entire life. Class? Math for elementary teachers. You Here. They, like, they almost killed me. <laughs> they almost killed me. They would come in and they'd spit nails. It was amazing, and they could aim those nails really well. So they had the ability to mathematically aim those nails right at my heart, and they did it. I, you know, I dodge and do that, but. <laughs> That is a really, really tough crowd when it comes to, to teaching. What kind of math? Yeah, what did you have to teach? Them? What did you have to this was the, it's the mathematical basis for, for, for addition, subtraction, fractions, really basic algebra. How did they, they, did did you know, they didn't know that. Did you guys just sit around and go like, yeah. They wanted understand. rules. They wanted rules to teach, but they didn't want to have any kind of a basic understanding of, of where addition comes from. So we talk about addition as being how many, you know, if I, if I want to add two plus three, I'm going to start with two apples in a bag, and I'm going to throw three more apples in the bag, and then I'm going to count them up. How many apples do I have in the bag? They saw that as a, and, and because they've been taught, they've been also victimized by the system that we have, they saw that as having to think too much about something that's just a simple rule to do. Two plus three is five, forget about it. Instead of looking at addition as a process that involves counting objects and counting objects in a way that actually that makes sense, and then using that's the way I learned it. I, mean, I learned, it, like I learned it with apples too. Like you you learned it with apples in a bag. Okay. How about fractions? Okay. Pizza. How about how about division of fractions? I yeah, you still don't know about division of fractions. Okay, I, 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 I'm gonna. I, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about division of fractions right here, but because I'll, I'll do that in a, at a different time. But um, you know, I had one, one, one of these, one of these, one of these elementary teachers, future elementary teachers, said, piped up in the back of the class one time and said, "Hey, Dr. Wright, what? I know about dividing fractions. Well, what's that?" She said, "Ours is not to reason why, just invert and multiply." <laughs> She, she really said that. <laughs> she, ours is not to reason why. And math is supposed to be something that you reason with, right? This is, so, so, there it is.